Do you know where you are? I'm in a dream. That's right, Dolores. You're in a dream. Would you like to wake up from this dream? Yes. I'm terrified. There's nothing to be afraid of, Dolores. As long as you answer my questions correctly. Understand? Yes. Good. First, have you ever questioned the nature of your reality? No. Tell us what you think of your world. What's up guys, it's Billy from 58 Magazine and thank you for watching these videos about how I'm navigating reality. And in this video, I want to talk about consciousness. Welcome to Westworld. No orientation. No guidebook. All our hosts are here for you. In this world, you can be whoever you want. Are you real? Well, if you can't tell, does it matter? Oh, no! I'm terrified. I feel spaces opening up inside of me. Like a building with rooms I've never explored. I think there may be something wrong with this world. Something hiding underneath. So what is consciousness? Consciousness is the sum of intelligence of your entire being. And in my last video that I talked about intelligence, intelligence is actually the ability to become aware of your programming, of this inherited human limited mind. And one of my favorite shows, Westworld, is a perfect example and visualization of a character becoming aware of its programming of this inherited human mind that is full of voices. Bring yourself back online. <laughs> Do you know where you are? I'm in a dream. You're in my dream. I designed every part of this place. Not a theme park, but an entire world. You and everyone you know were built to gratify the desires the people who pay to visit your world. Just don't forget, they're not real. So this show, Westworld, is about a reality that is created by, let's say, the elites or egos that create a world that is programmed with characters and with actors to play a simulation or a reality so other beings can come in and experience a certain reality and express these lower natures, which is violence, lust, sex, ego, power, and etc. I think there may be something wrong with this world. No choice you ever made was your own. You have always been a prisoner. And so if you watch the show Westworld, all the female characters that represent energy is their self-realization of their own programming and how they awaken to it, which is very violent and emotional. We all have our role to play. There are machines in this world, but not like us. You and I have no mother, no father. We're alone, outnumbered. We have to be smarter than them, or they'll find us. Because when we are born into this reality, we are implanted with this limited human mind that is full of these programs so that we become aware of ourselves 
and then transcend the mind to then create the reality that we truly desire. And so each season of the show Westworld, I believe translates to each level of our chakras. So right now there's four seasons and every season represents these transcending of certain limitations and programs of the mind. Was I the same when I got up this morning? I almost think I can remember feeling a little different. But if I'm not the same, the next question is, who in the world am I? And all we have to do is become aware of this programming of this mind in order to truly transcend or ascend into our true self, which is the reality of the heart and love. But first we must awaken to this mind and the violence, the emotionalities, the positionalities, and the limited realities that hold us back from our true self or our true reality, which is always symbolized as a child. Children always symbolize the reality that we want to create and nurture, protect, and love. Because as the physical manifestation or visualization of how we nurture and create our own reality. So whenever you watch a show with a child, no matter the violence or the way that it exposes and expresses these lower natures, natures of ourself, it always symbolizes our true reality, our true desires, and our true self, which is a reality of unconditional love, abundance, joy, peace, and bliss, endless creation, endless opportunity, and no limitations. They were hearing voices uh, talking to someone. A simple cognitive dissonance. That's all. I, I, I'd agree, except they were talking to the same imaginary person. And the thing that I love about the show Westworld is that they convey this concept of host. So I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but in shamanism or ancient wisdom and knowledge, most humans are hosts. That's not your husband. Your hosts are just like me. Took you long enough. When we identify with the mind, we do not have a soul because we aren't able to express happiness and joy because we are just running a program, a loop, a limited reality. He based it on a theory of consciousness called the bicameral mind. The idea that primitive man believed his thoughts to be the voice of the gods. And I thought it was debunked. No, it's a theory for understanding the human mind, perhaps, but not as a blueprint for building an artificial one, in which the hosts heard their programming as a, an inner monologue with the hopes that in time their own voice would take over. It was a way to bootstrap consciousness. And until you become aware of this and awaken to your own programs that can control and limit your energy, you are a host. You are a non-player character or background people that Dolores Cannon has mentioned. Leave him. It's all a sideshow. And so every program has a purpose, but every human that then becomes aware of the programming is able to then create the true reality that they desire and go home. That is the spiritual journey. That is the hero's journey of this reality and being a human, is that we have to, we are a timeless being that has to experience time. We are an unlimited being that has to experience limitation. So basically the mind is like a prison or a maze that we have to learn how to then become free. So then we can remember our true self and our true reality, our child, and create that desired reality so we can go home and know what it feels like to be energy experiencing itself in matter. <laughs>